through. Uh, our first reader tonight is Steve Dickinson. Please welcome him. So I'm 
I'm pulling things from there as I go through the poem. And, you know, one doesn't need to know the music, because I, I, my sense is the poem makes some music. And um, so, two, two parts, two halves. One, he had a special symbol. I guess all of them have their special symbol, that kind of symbol that sounded like a waterfall, just like Ken Clark on the Swedish snobs with Bird. Billy could bring people into his time, a time that enveloped you. Charlie Hayden on Billy Higgins. The portrait of Robert Thompson as a young man, that band, gone drafted into the LMO under the premise that there, there is such a thing as liberation and as liberation music. You could be further under Verse 12, daylight, how the clouds seem to be not moving at the same time wind, the lime tree registering applause, draft of it, waft of it out there, and inner ear chained to yonder wall. Even the true mirror reversing the reversal of the mirror per se doesn't say me back to me. How many enemies make a soul has to be placed under science, under fiction, to not be invisible ink. Mr. Henderson was drafted into Mr. Coleman's organization 10 September 1971 to tear down, in order to tear down, the belief that my mirror says me back to me. You could be further under. The day has to start again if it wants to be half splendid as the night. Take, eat, this salad given for me, this do the do in living memory of the living. Don't raise my face. David Henderson is in the science fiction room they pitched. If it's time bound, who told them that? Workers at the transconfiguration, Nahum Chandler, of the limits of existence in our time will come. Nobody let them build this, exactly nobody. Julius Hemphill and Dewey Redman were cousins out of Texas, and they were all cousins of Ornette, so said Mr. Ehrlich. The room, could it know what was happening to it? It jumps up from its chair, sits back down again, out of not knowing. An epistemy coming down, rain on the roof, like that. Like notes preceding a downbeat, floating elevator pre-tap shoe sounded, not hammered home. You could be further under that world you were inside of, so familiar you'd think it was a proper place to lay one's head. Said with ready enthusiasm, with the generosity of someone pleased at being impossible, at being impossibly asked to be pleased, in the what falls down, what befalls one by the rule of will befall somebody else. Who I is talks like that, you want to, how it makes you, how you say in a day I might read a paragraph, might maybe listen, while well, its sonics undergo the way they do the things they are being bent on, house of between, house of will not be plowed down, plowed over, given for you, this do the do. Where the door gets painted shut, you leave half the door exactly like that, half painted closed, so it's an observation work of half here. Not in remembrance, in full possession of half here, painted close, so as if nothing to be seen here, some hyperplatonic ideal capsized, its cargo invisibly shattered by the impact with the flying subtraction mechanism, grinds your garden to salt to prove you can't do the do. And they were bombing Gaza in the ground during this poem. That was that summer. Um, sometimes I sit on the ocean, sometimes I sit under the ground, a parenthesis half closing me round. 
Sometimes time goes boom, boom, boom in folk time. The listener or reader could have slept in the hole that yawned open. It was so. Uh, these explosions, watermarks on the photos, clouds after explosions, as if their property, their proper, belong to someone, and someone will want them. These explosions that have under them people, little persons, heat dumped on summer camps where the median child person is who. Liberation music would address the envelope the, viol the violators fail to recall could be opened by themselves. Who be so previously occupied controlling the narrative, for one, even the envelope opaquing out the inside song is out of reach. Sandy Beach. What was that world like you just came back from? Tell it everywhere you go as if 1964, they allowed Staples family bands. They don't line a hymn, these people raise a hymn at Newport, these explosions. You could be further under effects of the shelling on those not themselves being shelled, being sheltered. Tears jumped up in my eyes where she sang. Summer 1964, the Staples family singers raised liberation songs at Newport only with the discontinuous. Liberation music wants to get up and moan about it, line the track to raise the hymn, the hymn of the world when it's exhausted, when it lays down in the cinders, rolls around in it, ashen-voiced or ashen-bodied, the diamond-faced kids versus the plume of smoke out of the skyways. Turn your airport down, Raptor oughtn't to be tied to that wall of sound rushing at their faces. The birds not to be blamed nor tarred. Staples stapled the song to the cloud down in 1964. Liberation music, how it starts out rumbling, then gets to be a thing, and the hand clapping build up, and the whole song keep unfolding, and nobody's left out of what the sound undoes. What it say to fold you in its heft and woof, its crowd voice, massed choir, vox. You could be further under its typewriter, plat, and its typology. <coughs> Says July 2014. Two. I'm intrigued by sleep. I keep a log of nightmares. That's Rand Blake. A piano player in Boston. Wonderful piano player. Uh, the way they say it is they say melody. He played that freaky shit, but he swung back into boom, 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 into folk time. He'd vacation there, though he wouldn't go over to the freak side. His burden lay in the shade of the lone palm tree, terror from the air neglected to collapse in the marbled gray monochrome, the gray on poisoned wheat field mono land shaft. Stir the palate with a cereal spoon, the bowl of crushed vernacular sky dust from the sky dust. I was carrying you around in a little basket, apple image in the eye of the bearer across. We'd lay down in the land shaft, burrow a core sample into the cereal bowl of new ruin, new bedlam, like a cat with a dog's bone, until indifferent. We didn't think we were. We were playing in the voice bowl. The dog ran away with the spoon to ladle from the voice dust. Melopoia poured across the marble paper land shaft. If a half, if a half ton, if a half ton bomb don't break mother's back. Can you paint this? Voice paint, thought to ask, seeing the all but the palm tree plowed over. 
century-old picture we ought to be shamed at having to see, having to lift psalms over, like a grape waiting to be trod song. Footfalls on the ceiling you hear out the window in the video, punched in perforations in the piano roll with perforations yet to be punched in. Sound not so silent. Are there bird voices? Are there tree for bird voices? Study the bee, study the baited bird. Point from which creation begins in St. Louis, Oliver Lake fallen under the Bindu. Mr. Hayden in the tropics down the river entertaining radio wave watchers from the kinder position. Young Mr. Lake upriver putting it into the common bell of the horn. Was it a plastic instrument? The ice cream maker, the storer of medicines for nightmares. Horse who didn't know the way to pull the desert sledge. They delivered all the wind right here. There ain't no red light burning. Green light keep being hand-fed directly to the violators. Liberation music revision scenes inside the act, inside the playhouse burning down. The tea house, the water house, the fire house. That's the water house restelled for the stalling challenged. Grandmother's house, the slice of pie house. This unnamed young woman in voice of the voice where she sang house. Does nobody know her name? Nobody raised her name. Did it matter the song's words get buried in the song? Ferguson, around the corner from where it waits at the ready at the drop of the hammer on the ring like a bellway. When we're, when we're melted down and forged into a handbell, what can be rung by the nobody, the no-fly is strapped down over, said to provide safe enclosure to the violators, gifted second-hand armadas for domestic operations on the level of the neighborhood, the level off. You could be further under liberation music's orchestration like a waterfall, some call it Firefall falls from the air you breathe by the fact you're there. In this time, not separated in time, could bring people in, Mr. Hayden said of Mr. Higgins, his time. We were all feeling the same way in L.A., that the prospect was and is, and it remains, emancipatory. At every measure, at every proportion, the lion feed time, the lamb lie down on the corner, no intention on their mind time, could bring people in, could make an envelope to roll around inside its time. Turquoise t-shirted man walks into a barrage, not even of no good, of no good like what's left after they vacuumed the lounge after the party people went, that void of whatever, Ask who suits up dressed to kill to keep convenience stores in operation. Whereas we read the text from left to right, right to left, tear the whole text down, reinvent it every possible way that we can imagine, drop out parts of the text, never add anything to the text, but completely destroy the text reinvent the text over and over, leave out parts of the text, then we know something about what we're about to do. Henry Threadgill's at the Library of Congress, 26, November, 26 October 2013. Take the card catalog home with you. They don't use that thing anymore. Those who eat cookies know. Unsettled, the not to be settled, Nobody's buying that the nightmare's the kind where we don't wake up from it. Exactly, nobody. Neither that it's driving nobody's archaic mother 
around on its ride to downtown and home again. It's not that kind of animal. Our collective, who can sleep, drummed up and hand-fitted a saddle to its spine to slide down fluorescent and dig the two drummers on. You know the number. Here we touch on oneself, it reads. The sign over the portal entering into how to do what isn't known in any advance of to have to do. In order to touch on oneself, you could be further under. Liberation musics completely destroy the text telephone call to disorder the wrong order put in place before we got to where we were staying. Where if we lived, we would be by now. Liberation music writes over top the words and phrases, sentences you've previously written. How being exposed to the people making the music, Charlie Hayden to Barry Scott, changes everything. Autumn leaves. Summer circles half back around with evident hole in its rib cage to its front end, loaded crown of the head where the cloud, where the crowd collected night and day. Michael Brown rhymes with brown steady, kind of cloud, little moonlight bounces down off it, umbral. It's August, September 2014. Tom Rayworth's been in mind, and I was reading last night through this um, fairly recent, I guess, selection of spanning his work of 50 plus years, um, called As When, um, edited by Miles Champion. And um, so two, two little pieces from Tom. Gaslight, we've heard of that. Gaslighted all the time. Gaslighted. A line of faces borders the strangler's work. Heavy European women, mist blows over tro dusty tropical plants, lit from beneath the leaves by a spotlight. Mist, in my mind, a riffled deck of colors or eccentrics. Was I a Waterton animal? My head is not my own. Poetry is neither swan nor owl, but worker. Minor, digging each generation deeper through the shit of its ears to the root, then up to the giant tomato. Someone else's song is always behind us as we wake from a dream, trying to remember, step onto a thumbtack. Two worlds, we write the skin, the surface tension that holds you in. What we write is ever the past. Curtain pulled back, a portrait behind it is a room suddenly Kathleen Fraser. Trying to decide what I wanted to keep, and uh, 
that's where a lot of my time has been, just taking care of business, feeling, you know, feeling time coming at me and wanting to have things in order, and they're not yet. Anyway, so I'm very happy to be here. I see lots of favorite faces. Not you. I'm going to move you over again. No, I guess I do need it. You need to hear me. Okay, I'll try that. Uh, that yeah, that would be better. Can you hear me better now? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Well. I love handmade books. And... This is a favorite book of mine um, that was done by M Press. Let's see. It's, it's a series of poems. They're all, uh, there are 10 of them, and they're all part of the same one. <coughs> Dale Going was, is, and I don't think she does it anymore, I'm not sure, but she was the um, person who was the editor of a series of books. She lives back east, I don't see her very often. Um, and then there are some nice, few nice drawings in it by my son. And it's just a very visual book for me. I'm very happy with it for that reason. Uh, it's called Wing. The new comes forward in its edges in order to be itself. Its volume by necessity becomes violent and three-dimensional and ordinary. All similar models shaken off and smudged as if memory were an expensive, thick, creamy paper and every corner turned now in partial erasure. Even bits of pearly rubber, matchstick, and loosened plastic, leaving traces of decision and little tasks performed, as if each dream or occasion of pain had tried to lift, its, lift itself entirely away, contributing to other corners, planes, and accumulated depth. The wing is not static, but frayed, layered, fettered, furling, and stony. Its feathers cut as if from tissue or stiffened cheesecloth, condensed in preparation for years of stage work, attached to its historic tendons. More elaborate, the expansive ribcage, grieving, stressed, yet marked midway along the breastbone with grains of light. There are two men. They are tall men, and they are talking softly among the disintegrating cubes. To First Black Quartet, Via Tasso. A cube's clean volume shatters and reassembles its daily burnt mark. The new is used and goes backwards into match sticks one struck at each day's oxygen. Common pinched breath and nerve, the remaining light bricked up. Now melt with nothing changed, yet he persists as does pain have a way of crashing in on you, swimming through matter, heart rate in each cell. There are two men turning their limit of blanket that one particular evening appears in reds to unfold in expanding brilliant traces or stars. That which is known to us or just improvised on deep kitchen floor. Meanwhile, picking, pecking at our skins, ghost or angel, sent to tell us what we didn't want to know. Thank you. I mean, my honking party out there. 
three, wing, via Van Vitelli. It can happen that the intoxicating wing will draw the mind as a bow. The cubic root of wing falls backwards with light leaking through at the edge. The cube is formally particular and a part of speech and lost. It looks for like kind, regardless of function, and attempts to replace itself. The square root of anything captures and holds, seeming to be final, and we are grateful. We see the delicate marks along the feather, and we follow, now to define or depict the outskirts of meaning. A plume of smoke, or any of the growths which cover the bodies of birds. To form a model of the wing's surface, the cube arrives on a day called the darkest day. Its likeness consists of strength, atonality, pigment, emptiness, and shafts partly hollow. I put my mouth just at the opening where a steel edge gives way to an angle from which light emerges along its soft, narrow barbs. If the wing had a voice, it would open through a shaft. I am not of that feather. For mine. Attached by some natural substance, the arm or leg, with elbow or joint, midway suggests the next incision or protrusion. It stiffens as a fin or rib projecting new function. It emits signals, periscopic, familiar, helical into the spiral. Wing could loosen that mind's identity calling to itself with charcoal error. Only in contradiction to that which is known to us of nature. By color, via della penitenza. Even the new is attached or marked by attachment. The shimmer of wing, which claim may tell us everything in a white blink, just as in troubled moments it disappears. A young girl in Arkansas, the quill of an angel in warm light from orange and yellow regions, falls. Waking touched, an angel stands in technicolor as cosmonauts look out on jetliner wingspan attaching itself collectively. These retinal bodies, larger, remarkable for their iridescence. Crossroads. He extends thus into plumage as fruit rubbed from walls soaks inward. Your mango human skin doth beckon overlaps against the larger screen where floods our night hike. Features of body assemble their hawk-eyed distance, abnormally retaining jetliner lure. Yet wanting the same thing always, your innocence dressed in red anterior borders, pinion and spur, my teeth which may fit the angel's gear. Having seen thy ancient ground, messenger, wing. Seven, fallout. Now and milk with brush all in one place, nothing changed. I did not grow up. I went away in one place. One phase, 
Prudent I over persists in contradiction to, as does physical pain, that which is a known, a way of crashing in on you, to us changing, now perilous, their spots unawares, your own heart stopping. She used downward, words downward, who like brilliance, but are you turning? He had no truck with the mysterious, like stones found, not having opened after each other, Herodotus. The sifted swimming through matter, cocoa color. I was thought though burning, hot except our gills events, but where his cold hand did not flow, touched, a normal one throwing up screens and satisfied lest they be struggling with his dictum and bickering, plain as the palm on a particular evening to attract brilliant treads, something more with a cleft on its upper lip appearing to unfold as if marked. Eight, second black quartet. As does that which is of crashing to us changing their spots, heart stop downward, who, but are you swimming through color? I was burn hot gills events, cold hand touched. Aware your own, she, she used words like brilliance, turning, he had in my hand, struggling dictum and plain as a particular attraction, treads something clever if marked. As does that which is of crashing to us changing their spots, aware your own, she heart stop, she used words like downward who brilliance turning, but are you, he had in my hand, swimming through struggling color, I was burned, dictum, and hot gills events, plain as cold hand touched, a particular attraction, treads, something cleft, if marked. Matter. There are two men without feet. They are tall men swimming through matter. 10. Vanishing point, third black quartet. Forward edge to be volume by necessity as if partial erase. Edge itself to be volume by necessity as if partial erase. Other itself to be volume by necessity as if partially erased. Corners to be volume by necessity as if partially erased. To be volume by necessity of partially race, planes be volume of necessity as if partially race, accumulate volume by necessity as if partially race, depth by necessity as if partially race, necessity as if partially race, condense necessity as if partially race, in as if partially race, preparation, if partially race, partially race, Stage work, historic, erase of tendons, pearly, elaborate, lucent, ribcage, decision, marked, and midway, little tasks, little tasks of pain had tried to lift, to lift, tried to lift, had tried to lift, Pain had tried to lift, of pain had tried to lift, casks of pain had tried to lift, little tasks of pain had tried to lift. Decision and little tasks of pain had tried to lift. Lucent decision and little tasks of pain had tried to lift. 
Elaborate rib cage marked midway with grains of light, talking softly among disintegrating cubes. The falling wing will draw the mind as a bow. Itself the wing, not static, but frayed, layered, fettered, furling. coming through neighbor's hedge a row, slice of nowhere, bother, of, of, off the. Bay's cord, window, skyward. Him, he hum, hum mind, pieces, goat voice, from a um, baby pendulum, biblical tea time, TV cut, doth arise, to suspend guests, find behind, tuck into stairs, provoking gin scent. Healing and woofing, side by their muzzles at kitchen door, to side, to track, surface tension, anything, ears flat back, to a little whistle. Wherever, do wherever dog give listen, our lady hurls, mozzarella in equal parts. Up to ceiling, squeaky, bang, metallico, what could have been? Oh, yeah. Oh, ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Vaticano, by a 
progressing through aggregate, floating these molecules, sealing mother. Heroes, heroes, thump, H, A, rose, rose. Feed her to herself, singing from French doors, divided prognostication. She noticed pains, damp, hang. Here's no O of fiction. Child-sized egg in hand, or is it already yesterday, beloved? Ah, guests buzzed, uh, buzzed, arise now and feed and arrive again with unobserved each gear. But a sheet and urn down water risen with. Alleluia, in-laws wrists. A risen wool socks, ears hinged forward, no longer rolled awry inside this any things sliding apart. To greet, abiding, and to earn a other cheek hidden, violent, hide, violet, hide, violet, by unseen hand, light opens over trees, abundant, suspend. In April of 2006, Soon after this statement appeared in the press, scientists discovered a fossil in Ellesmere Island in the Canadian Arctic that proved evidence for a sought after missing link between sea creatures and the first land roaming animal. Something approaching a first stage amphibian. The struggle involved in making this journey through time and the elements from fins to paws felt extremely urgent, even intimate, although separate from us by 375 million years. About to begin a collaborative series in Rome in April of 2006, we had both been particularly compelled by the visual patterns and alphabets embedded in the stones, antiquities, mosaics, constellation graphics, and fabrics of Indo-European cultures and had begun exploratory work piecing together those iconic fragments in our own texts and drawings. But when the missing link fossil appeared, the direction for our project amplified. To be at this end of a disappearing species, just as its earliest beginnings were discovered, was cause for alarm and overwhelming sadness. Yet, as we worked, the subject often took its own direction towards celebration of evolution's unstoppable force, its language and visual pathways continuously reanimated. Is addresses the double bind of to be, being human, and being dependent upon the natural world for pleasure and sustenance. In this knowledge, we have been awakened with a harsh jolt to Earth's gradual melting and shifting due to man's deliberate avoidance patterns, both greedy and neglectful, leading us to the careless destruction of our planet home. I wrote that together with Hermine Ford, who is a painter, friend of mine, very fine painter, she lives in New York City. And uh, we did some of these things together, some of these pieces. There was an orange in the box of oranges. It was wrapped in tissue paper, 
imprinted with a red square, a black circle, and a green tree of overlapping leaves, hiding even smaller ivory blossoms. All this under a sky called azuro, or French blue, the same sky. It was seven o'clock in the evening, and Il Gato d'Alepna stood nervously on the dark green grass. Inside the black circle, guarding a perfect orange that lay be before him in the grass. His whiskers were quiet as wire. He was looking slightly, slightly worried, as if another animal or person might suddenly appear, someone larger who wanted the orange and would reach for it. Ilgato del Etna could hear the red square thinking, I need more red. In a nearby room, the others ate their pears. Q. Shelta della bellezza naturale superiore alla natura. Choices beauty makes are in the mind of the beholder. Holding beauty, being beauty. The Bila blade, an Irish idea of the beautiful. Sting equals stung. Only six sides to every story repeated the queen. No further incursions, please, into the hexagon enclave. A model wherein natural selection and nobility both want representation. Domenichino's study of the male figure in which a man's right foot breaks through the passe partout and beyond the frame, thrilling to a woman gazing from just barely inside the 21st century. Or Bellori's Piccolo Gabinetto. The little cupboard unfolded into glass shelves in a yellow room on the second floor of the Palazzo del Esposizione, chosen by the director and her committee, meant to set aside, to elevate, Valori's own particular choice, choices from hers, theirs, his beauty now their idea of his idea, ours. Ero e Leandro, as, Ru as Rubens paints them, Actual women overwhelmed by waves, real bodies sliding perilously vertical, the shock of ferocious properties, water in combat with creatures meant for land. I could never mirror nature. I would like to paint what it leaves me with. Comma, Comet, hesitant, hesitant to name his intent to pounce. Rooms according to the position of the sun in different seasons, the pears remaining in the fruit bowl, we peel off their harsh green skins, and the juice begins to glisten on our thumbs. Il Gato del Etna remains watchful. The red orange just at his feet seems to have tilted in the evening light. His tail breaks the frame of the black circle. His eyes refuse to be tamed by false ideas. Caught in the act of hanging freshly washed curtains, a thought comes to the observing one. I too noted and was struck by the ruby satellite metaphor of the red orange. In the market, the oranges long for their tissue coverings. <laughs> 